Yo, we're back again with another Sniper Story video, and today we got some new challenges. Thank you, 2K, for giving us some more free MT. And before we get started, and before I forget to say this, and before you guys comment down below why I'm doing, you know, classified on the top right, I'm gonna tell you why it says classified on the top right. So, if you guys didn't know, in the community right now, a lot of people are reporting each other. They're pretty much, like, reporting other people trying to get them banned. And I've already been banned on one of my accounts, so I'm not trying to risk my other accounts, even though some people already know this PSN, but I'm not trying to risk it. So, for now, I'm gonna keep it low-key. I'm still gonna be sniping I'm still gonna be doing almost everything that I've been doing before the only difference now is that it's gonna say classified on the top right I'm just trying to stay low right now I'm not trying to get banned again so hopefully you guys understand why it says classified now that way I don't get like a bunch of comments asking me why I keep saying classified on the top right but anyway though let's get right back into the episode uh, if you guys haven't already leave a like on the video let's try to get seven likes on this video right now so smash that like button for me subscribe as well to the channel we're on the road to that 30,000 mark man we're almost there we're slowly getting there every single day and let's get right into the episode now the challenge that we have today are the same ones we have the warriors and the calves and then the calves against the warriors which by the way um it's over like is it over already like ha has everybody just pretty much agreed that it's over like the warriors are up 3-0 right now no team has ever come back from 3-0 even though i guess we said that last year with 3-1 and then the calves came back and won a game seven but it's a little bit different this year they do have kevin durant no one's injured i mean no one's injured on the calves or the warriors so that's great but yeah i think it's pretty much over and we did end up getting a new challenge we got the amethyst challenge that we get 8,000 mt with. And that right there is the greatest player of all time. Don't say LeBron James. Michael Jordan is the greatest player of all time. And you need to go against the 96 Bulls with a team of all Amethyst players. And if you win, you walk away with 8,000 MT, which is always great, man. Free MT is always great from 2K. I just really hope that they continue giving us challenges because, you know, 2K17 is about to end really soon. But that right there is the intro with the challenges. Hopefully you guys do them. Get yourself the free MT because right now the market is crashing. And I did end up making like a video talking about like the market crash. I did also give you guys like some really good players that you can buy right now because everybody ended up dropping in price So go check that video out if you haven't already It's the previous one that I uploaded so go check it out But let's get right into this episode I pretty much uh, start off with you know sniping rubies and then I go back to diamonds and then I end up like going back to like the Ruby Historic filter in this episode. So we're trying out like different filters for today. We're gonna be slowly trying to get back to like 1 million, 2 million, and then hopefully 3 million MT once again. So without further ado, let's get right into it with the first episode on the new account. You should do playoff 500 to 1000 and see if any diamonds or enemies pop up. So do playoff 500 to 1000. I like how you guys are now teaching me how to snipe. Sniper story back to basics. Yeah, dude, that's gonna be lit. That's gonna be lit. How are you in a good mood? Cause I just, I don't care bro, like it's not that big of a deal. This is, this just gives us new things to do now, man. Is this a new account? Uh, this is, this is my old account where I started, uh, my, uh, sniper story back in 2K16. Back in 2K16. What's the cheapest ruby? Like, how much are the rubies? So all these are like a thousand? Does anybody know how much these, uh, quick sell for? Is it 950 or 850? 950? Okay, so I gotta get them under under 800. Because if I quick sell them, I still make them. See, all right, cool. All right, let's hit this refresh. See what we got. You got banned? Yeah, I got banned, bro. Woo! Let's go! No! Yeah, let's go! Yo, we're already getting started. Let's get it. Let's get it. Three rubies. It won refresh for 500. Let's go, dude. Nice and easy. Yo, we're already. Yo, dude, 100k in no time, man. Let's go. Let's go. That's how it's done. Not one, and not two, but three. Three rubies for 500. Kind of wish those were historic, but I'll take the playoffs. Already making moves, bro. SXC snipes in the chat. You, you think 2K is going to hold me back? Nah, dude. We're going to make a new account. We're gonna get my team back. Even though I barely was able to enjoy it for like a week. Not even a week, I got Jordan yesterday. Like I literally just got Jordan. <laughs> he consumables? Oh yeah, that's right. Yo, back to the basics and sniper story. We gotta, we gotta snipe what we can snipe, bro. Let's go, man. Contracts, I'll take them. Uh, badges, I'll take them. Anybody know the consumables refreshed already? Yeah, dude, back to the basics, man. I gotta see what I can get for some MT. That's already a great start, though, man. They'll sell for like a thousand. I'll make, you know, <laughs> I'll make a little bit of MT. Kind of wish it was a historic one, but it's all good. I think I might just do the historic filter, though. I just wanted to see if I could even, you know, 
I could at least get something. <laughs> the good thing is when they release new packs in playoff, uh, you know, the playoff packs, uh, the, the snipe should be a little bit more lit. There's only like a couple cards that I don't want to like go after again. Oh, pick no maestro. Oh, getting out sniped? Yo, Navi hit. If anybody, anybody hitting Navi, Navi hit. Okay. You got at me, John Wall 8K? Nine. Oh, contract sell for something, right? I didn't even see this three point shoe. I am blind as a bat. And before I show you guys this part, I did want to let you know that I did have this account right in the beginning of 2K17. I pretty much had it back in 2K16. And pretty much what I did with this account is like anytime something like a new card came out in packs, I would go on this account and then buy VC on this account and then open packs. I would always do that. Even in 2K16, I would do that too. Like I would always go on another account that I haven't logged in for a while and then do packs on that account. And then I would always get something good. And this year they made it where like if you don't log in for a while, they either give you like free VC, they give you like a 50% sale on like a box or like packs. And and like I said, anytime like a new card came out, I remember opening a lot of packs when uh, the new Diamond Westbrook, the All-Star Westbrook came out, and I tried to pull it on this account, and I did end up pulling a Diamond, which ended up being, you know, Diamond Jimmy Butler, so that really sucked. And I just wanted to like quickly talk about it, because a lot of people were thinking like, I just suddenly like made this account like the day after I got banned, but it actually wasn't like that. So I've always had this account, and I would open packs from time to time, especially like TVT packs, and I even had like historic players that were going for like 20,000 MT. For example, right here, this Will Purdue was going for 20,000 MT at the time, where like, after I got banned. This was before the market crash. A lot of the historic players did end up dropping in price, but luckily I did end up selling a lot of cards that were going for like 20, 30,000 MT. Like some of these were going for like almost 100,000 MT. So pretty much what I did is I did end up selling like every single thing that I had on this account. Like anything that went for value, I sold it right away. And now that you know a little bit more about the background of this account, let's continue the episode. Come on, let me get a, uh, let me get a Larry Bird. Larry Bird right now would be lit. Woo! I have a feeling Chauncey Billups is not a snipe. Oh man. Did I take an L, guys? Oh, Lost already said not a snipe. Did I just take an L? No! Oh. <laughs> With six Amethyst badges? He's not a snipe? No! No! <laughs> he goes for 60k? Shut up. Oh my. If he goes for 60k, I'm about to just quit. You guys actually got me though with the 60k. I was actually shook for a second. Because if he's going for 60k, I would have lost like, yeah, I would have lost like 40k, 50k. Put it up for a buy now. I might just have to do that. Yeah. I'll take the 10k out. I don't know what it is, but I just, I keep missing LeBron. Uh, even, dude, I just miss LeBron for some reason, every single time. I need to get some damn snap shit. Whoa, I got it! Whoa, I got that? What? Please tell me Giannis is a snipe. Wait, is Giannis not a snipe? Giannis might not be a snipe anymore. Dude, that was like the slowest I've ever bought a Giannis. Wow, he is a snipe. Let's go. They'll eventually get there, bro. I got Giannis and then I exited out. I don't know why I pressed circle. All the oh, LeBron is whoa. Yo, how much is Giannis? I'm still making money on Giannis, right? I think I'm still making money on Giannis. He's like, yeah, 140, sweet. You don't get LeBron's anyway. Yeah, I don't get LeBron's anyway. All right, we got 15 seconds. I think by now it's already like out of the auction house. I'll take it, man. 133. I wanted to get at least 135, but I'll take the 133. Anything right now will help. Like, I need to make as much MT as I can. So I will take the 133. You never know, though. I might have got another bid. Let's see. And I didn't. And we got it. So for one, uh, 133. Uh. <laughs> and we'll take it, man. That's a nice little profit. Quick, quick little, like, 20-ish K. 
That'll help out, man. We need to get all the MT we can get right now. So right here, I end up, uh, I'm sniping. I see a Diamond Peja, which I buy right away for 100,000 MT. And then it turns out that this card sells for like 100,000 MT. This right here was the beginning of the market crash in 2K17. Like almost every single Diamond ended up dropping in price, especially if they had like a Dynamic Duo. Luckily, I was able to sell this for I think like 110,000 MT like before he completely dropped in price. And I did want to let you guys know that right now, sniping is a little bit, you know, tricky, a little bit risky too, because if you see right now there's a jimmer right there on top of peja and i didn't even bother to like get that card because i knew that his price was already dropping so make sure that you, if you're sniping right now in the auction house make sure that you know exactly how much cards are going for because some diamonds that used to go for like 130,000 mt are now going for like 40 50 60 000. i don't think the market is gonna ever recover because the new packs are out for like 27 days so i really don't see any price going back up to what it used to be but that right there is gonna be the video i did just want to show you guys how i was sniping on my new accounts i was just going after rubies and then i did go back up to diamonds again in the next episode i will be going back to like some other filters like for example the ruby historic filter i'll be doing that one once again even though that one's going to be a little bit hard because almost every single if not every single you know historic ruby card ended up dropping from like 30,000 mt all the way to like a thousand two thousand three thousand mt so we'll see what happens with that but hopefully you guys did enjoy the return of you know we're going back to the basics on this account we're going to go back to you know other filters and if you did enjoy it make sure to leave a like on the video subscribe to the channel we're on the road to 30,000 subscribers and as always thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.